everybody, I was out at Walmart today and you never know what you're gonna find in these clearance bins. So I almost sometimes overlook these because they're usually like basketball and football cards in here, but I noticed the 2018 pack and they just kept coming out of here. I found a grand total of nine of them. So I'm gonna take these home and open them up and see what we can find. And whenever I go to checkout, I always go to the self checkout line that is directly adjacent to the baseball card aisle. And I looked down in the clearance section there and I saw a bunch of these 2018 Top Series 2 fat packs, which are awesome because there's a possibility that we might be able to pull a Ronald Acuna Jr. bat down super short print rookie card out of here. That's a $200 to $300 card right out of the pack. If you get it graded and it's a PSA 10, it's like a $500 to $600 card. So we'll be looking for that today. Hopefully we find it. Uh, I have nine of these packs. I only went to one Walmart. I thought about going on to every Walmart in the area just in case they supplied these all over the place and picking up like a hundred of these, but I just didn't feel like it. So we used to have nine packs, plus it would have been a much longer video if I had done that. So let's uh, take our chances here and see what we can find. Um, you can see clearance. I paid $3.98 per pack. Typically, I think these were $5.98 and unopened packs of these go for about $15 on eBay. So... Let's uh, get to ripping these and see if we can find the Acuna. Also, Glaber Torres has a short print in here as well. Uh, the most notable rookie besides those short prints is likely going to be the Shoei Otani, which is the last card in the set. So here we go. 350 cards total in Series 2. And also there are some uh, MLB The Show codes for PlayStation in here. We'll probably pull at least a couple of those. I'll just put them on the screen so whoever sees this video first can just take those and use them and get yourself some packs of cards off of MLB The Show, if you still have the 2018 version, that is. Gorky Hernandez, Rainbow, Wade Boggs, Victor Robles, rookie card, Raphael Devers, rookie, Legends in the Making, and then we have Tucker Barnhart, so nothing crazy in this pack. I'm guessing that the super short print would be right after the insert cards if it was in a pack that we're going to be um, opening tonight. Trevor Bauer, D.D. Gregorius, by the way, just signed a new contract. He's got a new team, no longer on the Yankees. He went to the Phillies. So teaming up with Bryce Harper. All right, pack number two of nine. We've got Aaron Bummer, rookie Anthony Santander, rookie Matt Carpenter, Strickland, Freeze. Uh, let's see, another good rookie in this set is um in series two is mitch garver from the twins so he had a really awesome season breakout season for him last year tons of home runs of course who didn't hit tons of home runs for the twins last year even though uh, garver missed some time dang it looks like there's no short print in this one either bradley zimmer future star hopefully he can get back on track dietrich had a nice season uh, Matt Olson, Velasquez, who, by the way, he's ambidextrous. He can throw righty and lefty um, pretty well in batting practice. He'll toss the ball in left-handed like it's no big deal. And Jose Altuve is the last card there. Still waiting for the uh, sanctions to come down from MLB on the Astros. It's been like a month. I guess, uh, who knows, maybe they're going through every game from uh, 2019 the whole way back to who knows when. Just looking for all kinds of uh, evidence against them. But still waiting on that. So in our next pack, we got Tyler Glass now, future stars. Unfortunately, the Pirates didn't think he was a future star because they gave him up. Gave him up for Chris Archer, along with two other great players, Meadows and, well, I wouldn't call him a great player, but Shane Bass, number one draft pick, Ryan Braun. Aaron Judge. By the way, these Aaron Judge cards, we've been seeing them in every pack. I don't really consider them special because they're in every pack. So if you're like getting kind of annoyed because you're a Yankees fan, I just kind of keep glossing over them. They're just, I mean, they, they literally says it's in every pack. So not a ton of value of those. Josh Donaldson Gold out of 2018. Heard the Angels might have some interest in Donaldson. Legends in the making, Albert Pujols. And then Trevor Williams had a terrible season last year for the Pirates along with most of the Pirates um, roster. Lance McCullers will be back healthy next year. Brian Shaw had a terrible season, but who doesn't have a terrible season out of the Colorado Rockies bullpen? Fernando Rodney, oldest player in the MLB last year. Always likes to wear his hat a little bit off kilter. 
All right, so we are now on pack number, what is this, four? I think it's four. Still haven't found any of those MLB The Show codes. I'm sure somebody is eagerly sitting at their PlayStation 4, waiting to type that code in before somebody else grabs it. It's only good for one use, so whoever gets it first can use it and hopefully pull a diamond card. MLB The Show is a great game. It should be coming out... Um, Right around the uh, end of spring training, that's usually when it comes out. I'll probably get the new one again this year and play a little bit. Last year I got the new one and played it for about a week and then just got too busy with everything. There's another Aaron Judge card. Liam Hendricks had a great all-star season last year for the Oakland Athletics. Took over the closer job from Blake Trinan. Christian Yelich. Edwin Encarnacion, who still hit 34 home runs last year despite only playing 109 games and having some injuries. He might be going back to the Toronto Blue Jays, possibly. 37 years old, still getting the job done. And Carnacio might end up over 500 home runs when it's all said and done. Dallas Keuchel and Alcides Escobar. And we dropped my buddy, Brandon Kinsler. I like Brandon Kinsler a lot. Good dude. All right, next pack. Still looking for the Acuna. I don't even think we found a single short print yet. All right, next pack. Devin Travis, Steven Souza Jr., Jose Martinez. That power-up card. Um, sometimes I wonder, is that Photoshop like that? Or are they actually standing back-to-back? -back? I'm, I'm not sure. Kind of tough to tell. Um, Mike Miner, who really kind of um, had a nice season last year, getting 200 innings pitched. Matt Chapman's always a solid all-around player of their third base, one of the best fielders around if not the best fielding third baseman in all of baseball. I know some people definitely think that he is. The other folks that don't agree think that Nolan Arenado is. Frankie Lindor of the Indians, who I don't know if he's going to get traded or not this year. I think he's got two years left with the Tribe. And, you know, he's going to be making around $17 million this year through uh, his second to last year of arbitration. So that's a pretty hefty sum for the Indians to pay a small market team. So I bet that you see Lindor move by the uh, trading deadline this coming year. I mean, the earlier you move them, the more return you get. So we'll see how it shakes out in the uh, American League Central. I mean, if the Indians fall back a bit from the Twins or even the White Sox, believe it or not, I think the White Sox are going to be maybe a dark horse in that division. They're ready to compete now. Chris Bryant, nice looking card right there. He's going through uh, a court battle of his own. He's uh, filed a grievance against the Cubs because they were manipulating his service time and keeping him down in the minor leagues back when he broke into the big leagues. And um, yeah, they're deciding if he should be a free agent at the end of this coming year or at the end of 2021. So, um, I mean, that could have big implications. The Cubs even are talking about possibly dealing Bryant. Uh, Nationals might be interested. Luis Castillo, really uh, up-and-coming young starting pitcher there. Keep that name in the back of your mind because, um, I don't know, if you don't have Luis Castillo rookie card, you might want to grab a couple of those. Still looking for our Acuna Jr., Corey Kluber. There's Aaron Judge. How many of these did they make? Uh, this is Aaron Judge card number 20, so at least 20 of them. Alex Cobb, Rainbow, Parallel. And we have our first short print. It is Hank Aaron. Very nice. So, again, if you're unaware of short prints, they're really easy to tell. I mean, if you see an older player that's a base card, it's – more than likely going to be short print but on the back they have these little numbers you can see that is it ends in 59 this one will end in 59 if i showed you every card it would end in 59 but this hank aaron doesn't end in 59 you can see it ends in one two so that code tells you if it's a short print or a super short print so very nice hank aaron um typically short prints can go anywhere from five bucks all the way up to like uh, hundreds of dollars depending on how rare they are so that's a pretty cool one that's going to be the best card out of this um, Hall so far. Hank Aaron, of course, if you're new to baseball, had this the all-time record for most home runs in a career with 755 before it being broken by Barry Bonds back in uh, 2007. Bonds ended up hitting 762, so just barely beat him. But of course, Bonds um, has been linked to steroids, so a lot of people still consider Hammer and Hank to be the all-time home run king. But how about this card? There's something wrong with it. There's like a it's not a crease, but it's it's a, like a weird little line going through. It looks like a crease, but I don't know. At least it's Jason Vargas, one of the softest tossing pitches in the game. Not a lot of value to that card. Unless you're Jason Vargas' mom, you probably want to have that one in your collection. 
All right, we've got three packs left to find something else good. There's a Tawny rookie card. That was a super hot card back in the summer of 2018. Sandy Alcantara is a nice rookie card. Every Everyone wanted the Shohei Otani rookie card. In fact, I think I used to see this card selling for like 20 bucks at some card shops. I don't know. Now I, I would assume you could probably get it for like uh, just a couple bucks. Maybe not even. But Shohei Otani will be back on the mound this coming year. Pitching and hitting again. He had to miss all of his... Uh, Pitching portion of the season last year with Tommy John. And here's the new uh, super rich guy around the league. Steven Strasburg, $245 million contract for seven years. Congrats to Strasburg. Really hope that the Nationals took out some insurance on that contract. Strasburg has so much break on his pitches. Hope he uh, stays healthy the entire time. Um, I actually went to his MLB debut back on, what, what was it, June 8th, 2010 against the Pirates. I mean, Pirates are my team. Washington, D.C. is like, Three and a half hours away from me. So I went down there hoping to see a good game. But all I saw was an absolute dominant performance by Strasburg. Ended up striking out 14 Pirates. Um, if you picked up ticket stubs off the ground for that game, you could sell them for, I think, $50 to $100 the next day on eBay. So pretty crazy. I think I only was able to get, like, one extra one. But if you're ever at, like, an MLB debut and there's something crazy that happens, like, um, not even – it doesn't even have to be crazy. Maybe, like, a player's first hit. Um, hang on to the ticket stub. Might be worth something someday. Another Aaron Judge card. A.J. Minter rookie card. Started out the season as the Braves' closer, but then lost that job pretty quickly. I know that all too well because he was my closer on my fantasy team. There's Freddie Freeman Gold out of 2018. Marcel Ozuna. Denard Spann, Xander Bogarts. And we're almost down to our last pack here. Goldie, Paul Goldschmidt, Jacob DeGrom, your Cy Young Award winner. Back-to-back -back Cy Youngs for DeGrom. See if he can make it three next year. All right, last pack. Uh, I'm hoping we find the Acuna, but if not, I mean, still fun to go through these. We got the Hank Aaron short print. We got the Otani rookie. And um, let's see what else we can find. We start off with Phil Hughes. They're always kind of fun to figure out what park it is in the background. That one's obviously Comerica Park out in Detroit. Franklin Barreto. I mean, some of them are a little bit harder to tell, but... Sometimes I play that game. Mitch Garver, rookie card. There we go. That's one of the better rookies in the set. Jordan Luplo, lots of power in BP. Went over to the Indians last year from the Buccos. All right, so the good stuff, our best chance of finding something good is going to be right smack dab in the middle of this pack. So let's get there and see what is going to be waiting for us. Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer, Aaron Judge. Long ball legends, Wilson Contreras, Carlos Gomez, gold card. We've got Ozzy Albee's rookie card, Legends of the Making, Javi Baez, and we're not going to get a short print because it would have been right after those Legends in the Making cards, but we'll finish off the pack here. See who else we find. Kyle Gibson, Yonder Alonso, and Jason Shreve. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you liked the video. Best card that we pulled was the Hank Aaron short print. If I ever find some more 2018 tops in the clearance bins, I'll definitely pick them up. I would suggest if you go to your local Walmart, Always make sure you check out the baseball card section, especially that clearance bin. You never know what's going to show up there. Even if there's not a new release that's coming out and you're like, you know what, I, I'm not going to even look because I don't feel like picking up any more 2019 Top Series 1 packs or whatever. You know, they always seem to have millions of those there. But always give it a look. You never know when you're going to find a 2018 Top Series 2 pack or even a 2018 Tops update pack. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you hit the subscribe button if you're new here. And also like the video. Uh, and I will see you all tomorrow.